Hello oh, and welcome to my reaction to more Wuthering Wave. As you see in this reaction, I think the game literally comes out tomorrow, so come watch my stream. I'll be streaming it. Uh, and yeah, this is a story cinematic, Battle Beneath the Crescent. At first, I wasn't going to check it out, but someone on my Discord basically said this is a kind of like, a, for, you know, Star Wars, this is like one of the myriad Celestia trailers, which are like, you know, they're not really spoiler, they're like literally separate, you know, content to check out to like learn more about the lore. So I figured I'd do reaction. And yeah, for me on out, I mean, we'll see what I do. I don't know if I'll always do in video, like all of the, the stuff like this, or if, you know, uh, if I decide to keep streaming the game because I like it, I'll just wait until I do a stream to check out those kind of videos. I don't know what I'll do, but for now, we'll at least see this one and see how good it is, how cool it is, all that, all that. I've got the game installed. I've got the game ready. Tomorrow, again, come check out the stream. Uh, come see me discover the game for the first time. As I feel like I'm still fairly blind, I mean, We've seen a few trailers, I've seen a few gameplay videos, but like not that much, right? I've really tried to avoid watching too much and, and get spoiled. Most I've done was really like checking out some Reddit posts about uh, people giving their review of the closed beta or stuff like that. Um, but yeah, not that much. Huh? So link for the original video in the description, the link to the Wuthering Wave channel, link to my Discord if you want to follow me, my stream and Patreon if you want to support me. Patreon, you support me mostly. You get access to Tonal Block Reaction I can't have on YouTube. And you get to request reaction every single month. Check it out. Let's see what they got. Cool games. The Honorable Madame Jinzi, our great magistrate of Jinjo, was handpicked by Sentinel Jur. Her status Sentinel. as the Sentinel's appointed resonator is rare among all past nice magistrates. Our Jinjo was leaderless for years until Jur finally chose her to be the next magistrate, and she answered the call. Mm. To further elaborate, we must start with the battle beneath the crescent. Sounds like a movie. The Norfall Baron, scarred by countless wars, discarded weapons scattered like bones. Our soldiers had fought to reclaim the land for years to no avail. All right. Overthrew oh, the dreadful Thrinodian monster, fed on the frequencies of weapons, turning our fallen soldiers into deadly of tacit discords. Oh. Damn. General of the Midnight Rangers, Geshu Lin, bravely oh. rose to confront the threat. They eat men. They As twin guy. moons aligned, General Geshu Lin vowed to vanquish evil, raising mm. his blade against the blood red crescent that foretold destruction. Later. His sword blazed with black flames, laying Look waste at that. to That's all the dare stand in his way. Victory seemed certain. But. Until the retroact rain began to fall. What is that? Raindrops fell upwards as in the past. Monsters raged. Loyal souls fell to blood soaked sands. Mm. Infernal carnage. Issuing Not his much last of that ties into it. Geshulin demanded Whoa. all soldiers stand firm no matter what happened. Mm. Sacrificing his body to the black flames for power, oh. Geshulin charged at the Overthrax with all of his might, and he was never seen again. I may not understand most of the terms that ring around, but some of the names are pretty damn cool. I can't say that much. Overthrax just sounds like a proper boss name. After the fall of their leader, the remaining soldiers despaired until the deafening roar of Chin Long struck like lightning. Mm. The lone youth bravely stood up to lead a hard won retreat. Let's go. After the battle, that young man who tamed the wind ascended to fame, becoming the new general of the Midnight Rangers, Midnight selected Rangers. by Sentinel Jur. All right, comrades. On the other hand, General Geshu was blamed for the massive losses that occurred under his command, mm. earning him a notorious a reputation in Wan Long. That battle struck us hard, but our sentinel rose from its long slumber to select a new magistrate mm. who guide us into the future. I recognize the character from behind him. Despite the previous disaster, Jinjo was off to a promising nice. start under our sentinel and the new magistrate's guidance. The people held hope for a better tomorrow. All right. All right, all right. Pretty epic uh, backstory. Wuthering waves. 
good one. I like it. I really like the hairstyle. That looked uh, that looked rather awesome. I would say that looked rather awesome. Okay, well, obviously, like you know, it's the kind of thing where like watching something like this. I mean, they released it in advance, but watching something like this before having any idea of the world or the story, because I don't know anything, right? Um, in all of the trailers so far, I feel like they never really explained anything. So my only understanding of Wuthering Wave is that it's like a fantasy, half fantasy, half post-apocalypse kind of world. But now I guess with this, like, it seems like there's a lot of like Chinese kind of idea. So it's maybe like, um, at least the original map will be like very Chinese inspired. I don't know if they have any plan to do it like, um, you know, like different map of like different real life uh, countries inspired or something, right? But yeah, like with all the magistrate and the Sentinel and stuff like that they were mentioning, it feels very, uh, very Chinese, um, like mythology and... And all that, right? So, um, so should be interesting. All I can say, cool trailer, uh, cool story trailer, story cinematics, as they call it. So, I don't know if this is going to be in the game. I mean, if this is in the game, I guess I watched it too early. <laughs> all right. So, cool stuff. I'm pretty hype. I'm, again, I know I shouldn't be, because you should not be hyped for gaming these days. I mean, you know, I just got dis disappointed uh, for a bit with Ghost of Tsushima because of uh, like the release being terrible. Uh, and I had to roll back drivers as it was making everything crash and all that. The game is amazing, but again, you know what I mean? So I feel like we should all know the lesson to not be hype, but I still can't help but being hype because we've waited for so long. I've been looking forward to give it a try and, and all that for so long. I really hope that, uh, you know, there's enough for me to like. That's all I can say. All right, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Once again, tomorrow is the day. Come watch my stream. And if you guys can play it early, well, good luck on your gacha or whatever it is, right? Anyway, hope you enjoyed the reaction. See you next time.